Well, guys, not to maybe overreact over one win in a long season, but given what you've been through these last two, three weeks, how much did you need this one win, and, and what does it feel like to end the streak? Um, I mean, you know, obviously, you know, it ain't been the brightest lately, you know, um, five L's in a row. But um, it just feels good and does something for, you know, the players and the team confidence, you know, to just get back in that win column. It's um, really a momentum thing, you know, and, you know, with us just being such a new, uh, new team and we having a bunch of young guys, I think it was very important for those young guys to see us get back in that win column, you know, because, I mean, I've experienced starting off slow in, in uh, season play and finishing on top, you know, but these freshmen and um, newer guys, they've never experienced those things. So, you know, I think it's very important for them to see us get back in that win column. Uh, yeah, I think um, I agree with Ice a lot. Like, uh, you know, obviously I haven't I haven't been at this stage before, like high major basketball. So, you know, these first couple two three weeks, I've really seen like how easy it is to lose and and also what it takes to win. And I think um, you know losing these games was important for us. Uh, obviously, it didn't feel good, but you know it. I think it taught us as a team what it what it takes and. You know, everybody's just buying in right now. Even, even now, like, if or when we lose games, we lose them together. Like, it's there's nothing really changing. We just just trusting each other every day, trusting the coaches and 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 the whole staff and everybody that's in our corner, and we just play. If we lose these games, we lose them together. And Ice here nodding as he was saying that. Is that a message that had to get reinforced for you guys these last couple of weeks? Um, I mean, I you know. It's, it's really, it really wasn't something that had to be um, reiterated. You know, uh, when everything was going great and we was winning together, we enjoyed it together. And, you know, same thing for when losses come. You know, adversity is going to come at some point. And so, you know, I'm just proud of really just how the team, um, you know, every day, every day we doing the um, process, what it takes to win, you know, no matter um, what the result is. So it's not like we just made drastic changes. You know, we just keep believing in coach, keep believing in ourselves and the team and the staff and practice hard, real hard, and we'll see how the result go. And so today we came out with a W. So, you know, I'm just thankful for that. I said you come in today uh, looking looking to score more, looking for a more, you know, aggressive approach on offense, or was that something you talked to the coaching staff about? Um, me personally, uh, I just, you know, like I told coach whenever I came back, whether it was five minutes, 30 minutes, regardless, you know, whatever the team, just is asking for me for that game. Um, that's what I'm going to try to do. So, you know, today that's what it was. You know, next game it could be something different. You know, a player like me, I don't just have a certain role for every single game. You know, it's different for me. So I just got to see how the game's going, you know, different things of that nature. But, um, you know, today I just felt like we really need to get off to a quick start. And I felt like it was on us veterans. You know, as captains, we ain't been good lately. And I felt like, you know, today the captains, we really had to step up and take care of business. And, you know, that's what we did. So. Did you feel like after a game like that, that, that you can kind of, you know, seeing how you're, you're scoring, you know, what that brought to the team, do you feel like that's something that, that you will try to look for more going, uh, you know, continuing the season? Um, I mean, like, like, like I said, I just play the game. You know, and the coaches, they'll dissect film and, you know, talk to me over the next couple of days, different things of that nature. You know, like I said, I just trust in the coaches. So, you know, um, they, they watch film 24-7. They... Literally, this, this is their lives, you know. They surround their minds and everything around this game and us and to win. So, you know, whatever they need, you know, I'm just trying to fulfill that. And so that's all that is. So I want to get to the heart of what he asked you because it is hard to wrap my mind around the fact that your stat line in every game this season is nothing like the stat line you had today. That it's hard for me to buy that 18, 10, and 7 was not a conscious decision by you to look more for your offense today than you have in the past? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's honestly for me personally and, you know, as, as humbly as sounding as I can, you know, it's, it's not like it's nothing I haven't done before, you know, and I say that completely humbly, you know, um, glory to God for these talents that he's given me. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in a new environment, new situation, new team, you know, um, I'm, I'm just thankful really just as much as I've been having um, this year going on, you know, first off, them just even let me back and me just trying to find a rhythm. And these guys around me, all 15, 16 guys, um, they make it easier on me every day, just encouraging me and telling me to just keep working. And that's all I've been doing. And I know at some point everything's going to show when it's time. I'm a firm believer in that, you know, God has his time. And I've done nothing different 
these past two weeks, past two days, I've done nothing different since the day I got here in June, which is just work. And, you know, the work will show itself. So be sensitive to whatever that was in December, but I, I think it's fair to ask you if you are in a better place mentally where you have less concern and are more able fully to devote yourself to playing than perhaps you were over the past few weeks. Is that a fair assessment? Uh, I mean, life is life. You know, um, life is life. At the end of the day, I'm just 22 years old, you know, so um, life is life. And um, me just being here, you know, if I'm here, then that's where my mind, my feet, everything is here. So, you know, um, just uh, that's, that's just what it is. You know, as long as I'm here, that's my only focus is being here. And um, everything else to handle itself. So, yeah, you know, I'm just working, focus on with these guys getting wins. Bryce, you had three turnovers in the first 81 seconds. You bounced back to have a career high in points. Walk me through that first sequence there and, and how did you adjust and bounce back from that? Yeah, um, obviously it was too many turnovers. I, I don't know, I was just trying to be a little bit aggressive. Um, you know, push the, push the ball down the floor. Um, the, the, the two passes, or no, 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 I had, a, I had a bad pass, the first one. And the second one, I got a steal and uh, bounce off my leg. That's me just trying to be aggressive. This, the third one, um, no, I forgot about that one. I think, I think that was another bad pass, but just me trying to be aggressive. And then um, obviously as it happens, it's so quick. You know, I obviously got to flip the switch and, and play smarter, but just me trying to be aggressive. And then ice for you, that first three-pointer you had, I think that's your first three of the season. Obviously, you can make that kind of shot, but how much does that do to you to kind of set the tone for the performance you had today? Uh, I, I really don't know. I just play. You know, I know it's. I don't kind of. I don't know. I don't have these moments where I get to feeling it and stuff like that. Like I just play. You know, I just play hard, and that's that's all I can tell you for that. Like it didn't really do nothing for me. You know, I just want to win at the end of the game. That's it. You know, that's all that matters to me, and it just feels good to be back in the win column. You know, regardless how my stats look, you know, I can have zero across the boards everywhere. And I, as long as we win, you know, as long as we win, that's it. That's all that matters to me. Bryce, the, the offense, as we know, has hit some tough po parts here these last five games during this streak. And you just talked about wanting to come out and be more aggressive. How much did you put it on yourself today to try to turn around what has been a rough stretch for the offense? Yeah, to be honest, man, like, like I said, we haven't been really doing anything too differently. Um, just just attacking practice every day like super like super focused and and you know with a great mindset and and with positivity and um you know obviously it's just one win but you know our our work is going to pay off eventually um what we do on a day-to-day -day basis we just stay consistent and and i think that things like this are bound to happen when 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 you work like us so um there it is right there <laughs> You're more than halfway through the season, so maybe the freshman, you know, thinking of it as just in terms of being a freshman might not fit anymore. But when the team is going through a rough patch offensively, how comfortable do you feel as a first year player being like, all right, I'm just going to put this on my shoulders and I'm going to score 27 like you did today? Uh, I don't think it's anything like that, to be honest, man. I just, um, I think I did a better job hitting shots today. Um, just calming down and, and, and watching the ball go in, seeing it go in a couple of times early was fueled me a little bit. But um, yeah, man, I just been just like trying trying less and less to force stuff and and just let the offense play out and and um, find pockets in the defense and take those shots that they give us and you know like I said earlier, just take what the defense gives. You guys have said that there wasn't much that changed over this stretch here. Was there ever a meeting? Did the captains ever step up and say something? Or was it strictly just back to work after the Nebraska game and, and through this stretch? Um, I mean, we did have a player meeting. You know, um, we definitely had a player meeting. But um, when we mean the, the process ain't changed, we mean as in, you know, we didn't go into practice um, looking to make drastic changes or looking around asking why we're losing. And, you know, we know why. Um, you know, I know Coach Holt and the staff, you know, they definitely get a lot of scrutiny. But those guys, they, 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 they watch this game and they put us in the right position to win the game, you know. Every single game, they give us the answers to win. You know, it's up to the players, us as players, to go out there and execute. 
you know, um, the coaches could tell us we need to box out every possession, but we'll allow 15, 16 offensive rebounds. You know, that's not a coach's thing, that's a player's thing. You know, executing plays that, that we got to execute late game, but we run them wrong. And the coaches, they drill us on it. We practice all the time. That's a, that's a player's thing, not a coach's thing. You know, um, it's been things that we as players just need to tune up and change, you know, three, four possessions of, five possessions of, you know, because we've been losing by two, three, four points, you know. Um, but those guys, you know, they do nothing but put us in a position to win. And, um, you know, so we just went back to practice, worked hard, worked hard, listen to coaches, trusting them. Um, and like you said, it's only one win, you know, it's really nothing. You know, it's one win, you know, to a long season, long lead game that we have ahead of us. But, you know, um, it could be the start of something. You know, we just don't look to build on it. So you could easily look at the stat line today and think Bruce had a terrible game. But from the outside in over the last five, it's appeared that his legs were gone and that today might be a godsend for him getting them some rest and also having you orchestrate offense. Can you two guys talk about what this game today can do for Bruce? Not because he had a bad game, but because I think everybody out there thought that he kind of needed to have either some rest or somebody else needed to step up and take some of the burden off him. Um, you know, uh, Bruce, Bruce, especially um, that month of December, uh, when, you know, whenever I had my departure, I, th I think he's been playing almost 38, 37 minutes, you know? Um, and he's just, and it's the same way in practice. You know, he doesn't take no drills off. You know, you think a guy that practice, I mean, that plays 30 some minutes, 38, 39 minutes as a freshman, you know, you'll think in practice he'll take some reps off and sit on a, now in any drill, he's the first one to step up, you know? Um, he's just a workhorse. You know, he's a workhorse. You'll have to tell him, you know, you'll probably have to tell him to get off the court, tell him to get out the drill. And, you know, um, you know, today was today was good for him. And you see, um, he was probably one of the loudest ones on the bench. And after the game, you'll think that he had a 30-point trip dub, how happy he was. You know, but that just shows the selflessness of all the guys and how much we truly care about each other. So, you know, um, Bruce going to ball next game for sure. I'm not, I'm not even worried about that. And, and, you know, he'll rest up and do what he needs to do to recover for his legs for sure. Isaac, when you transferred here from Oklahoma State, obviously when you're picking a spot for your last year to play, winning is going to be probably your, your biggest decision, your ability to win games and have success. So where you sit right now in the season, in the standings at 3-5, and five, do you guys still feel like all the goals you set at the beginning of the season are still right in front of you? Uh, no doubt. No doubt. I mean, we don't, we've only lost five league games. You know, that's, I mean, right now that could be a lot because there's barely been any played. But when you look at the end of a 20, 20 game conference, um, you know, five games isn't a lot whenever you uh, think about losses. So, uh, you know, like I said, just one game at a time. That's all we can do, just one game at a time. And I don't know who we play next, but uh, we're just going to focus on winning that next game, whoever it is. And, you know, just that's that's it. We can't worry about two games ahead, three games ahead, what it's looking like. We can just be right where we at right now.